My life was changed by coming to Fiji. And I feel, fell so in love with the people here that I decided I want to have a piece of this and I want to find a way to bring people here. And then, you know, I eventually bought the resort and then I started building it into the top resort in the country for the last 10 years and the top 10 in the South Pacific. It's called heaven in Fijian. Come on in. I bought this place when I was 29, so it's been 33 years. I like to make something that feels like it's very relaxed, but you know, the scale of things is my scale size shares, as you probably noticed. And what's your favorite spot in the home? I'll show you one of them. I'll show you a couple of them if you want. This is one of my favorite little hangout spots. Only private, down by the water, come down here, meditate or read and so forth. I actually have a set of stairs that go down under the caves, down to the beach, but the, the last uh, storm took that out and it took out the other place I'm gonna take you has been my favorite, which is my upstairs bed up on top of the building. You know, I love to hang out up here where you have these unending views. And I have a giant bed that's here that's covered that's an outdoor bed, which has clearly disappeared. It was ripped off, literally ripped out of the building. This is another hangout area that we really love. I got out, outdoor beds everywhere around the house too. My wife and I love. I opened this up because I have fish balls. I have these golf balls that are full of fish food. And so we use these hole, as holes here. We come out and knock balls here. And then they dissolve in the ocean and provide the food. So they're ecologically sound, but also the, the fish love it. Let's pop on the other side just so you see it real quick. I'll show you. My extra skinny bed. <laughs> Just, you know, all the beautiful little touches. There's a bathtub overlooking the ocean like that. When you got this property, was it kind of a bargain back then or did you have to fight for it? Like this property itself? Uh, the first 125 acres that are part of this resort, it was a coconut plantation and it was owned by a group of professors from Scripps Oceanography. This entire reef right here, they studied it for like 14 years and found more diverse life than anywhere else they'd studied. And they sold it to a couple travel agents and they didn't have enough money to finish it. So 10 million bucks was one chunk, and then another one was another five, but it was a giant stretch in those days. And then gradually, as I became more financially astute and strong, I was able to put more and more into it. Did you go up to the waterfall? Have we gone to the waterfall? No, we didn't make it to the waterfall. No, okay, no, we no. should run you up to the waterfall. Will you call them and ask them if they've got, my car is broken down, I think. Um, I don't know if I can fit in this car. See if they got somebody who can take us out to the waterfall real fast. Great job, great job. Hi. Really love what you've done over here. It's yeah. looking really beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Take care, brother. I'm sorry I get to see you longer today. So you've really become like an integral part of the community here? Oh, without a doubt, they're, they're my family on both sides. They call me Basso Levu, which means big boss. You're a big boss? <laughs> You're a big boss here in Fiji? Because this is Vanua Levu, right? It's yeah. the big island, right? The big island. Yeah, so You're the big boss big of the boss. big island? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Funny. Are we on time or am I late? Okay, we'll be ready to go in five minutes. Uh, I am to say goodbye again. I'm so sorry, but I look forward to coming back home to see all the family again. It's been a beautiful, beautiful trip. I love Anaka. Thank you.